I think this flight we're gonna be knocked out. I hope so. Because travel here, Delta Flight 568, service to Boston. Please proceed down on gate 20 for boarding. Once again, Delta Flight 568, service to Boston. Please proceed down on gate 20 for boarding. Thank you. Well, if you're flying to Boston, you need to go make your flight. <laughs> Complain, but you should know. Exactly what you say. Oh yeah. You can't drink on this one. I know you ain't used to men like me, but baby, you gon' see when we What's poppin' y'all? It's your boy J. Michael. Welcome or welcome back to another vlog. That is, because it's Friday, so current, like, this is like a weekend vlog, whatever, you know. Um, rude. Rude. Hello. <laughs> I am currently in LA right now. I am about to take a shower, get ready, so I can head to the airport and head back home to Virginia. I was out here for my birthday, as you all know. My birthday was pretty good. Had fun being surrounded by the people who I love, the people who love me. It was just a nice time, okay? So, um, it's time to wrap it up, get back to reality. Um, your boy's 21, I can't believe, like, I'm 21 now? Crazy? Yeah. <laughs> I told you guys that I wasn't gonna be vlogging while I was here in LA for my birthday, for real. I'm about to go back home. Might as well just start now. I have a red eye tonight from, um, LAX to Norfolk, so I land tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. I want to say that I'm supposed to be hanging out with Mariah tomorrow. Not entirely too sure, but we will see. Um, because I still got to celebrate my birthday with my peoples from home, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'm at the... I just stepped outside so I can take in this view, this scenery for the last time. It's a little foggy out, so it's really, really, really pretty and serene. I don't know. I just think that I love greenery and greenery like this just puts me at peace I don't know I don't know but um, I'm about to go close up my bags this feels so weird I literally did not vlog the whole entire time that I was out here so picking up the camera it's a little weird not gonna lie and yesterday I put in my fourth tray I think so the teeth they're hurting they are as you can see Get the stuff packed up. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to wear in the airport. I'm thinking my tail far suit. But we're going to have to see. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling right yet. What's up, y'all? So, I am obviously at the airport. And um, I'm sitting in the Delta Sky Lounge right now. Waiting for my flight to board. I board at 10.10. My gate is literally like right outside the lounge though, so I'm leaving here at like 10. It is currently 9, 11. So I'm just sitting here, waiting aboard. I did get me a little, little drink, just cause I could, you know, strawberry something. I probably won't finish it, but just cause I could, and it was only like $9, so why not? I don't know if I'm gonna, be talking to you guys anymore for the rest of the night um this red eye boy and i'm already feeling a little sleepy so i think this flight we're gonna be knocked out i hope so because travel here delta flight 568 service to boston please proceed down on gate 20 for boarding once again delta flight 568 service to boston please proceed down on gate 20 for boarding thank you well if you're flying to boss you need to go make your flight <laughs> like i'm saying i don't know if I'm going to be vlogging anymore tonight. Um, this is a red eye. Child, all I know on red eyes is sleep. I don't work. I don't do none of that extra stuff. I just, I just work. No, not work. See, you could tell I'm obviously getting a little, a little tired. Um, I just sleep. That's it. Let's try this. That's why I've been waiting to try it. So I can turn on the camera. Tastes like 1800. 
It's alright. Like I said, I probably am not gonna finish this. You know that like I mean business and I'm going right to sleep when I get on a plane tonight because I got my glasses on. That's how you know it's serious because y'all know me. I don't just be wearing my glasses out like this, but it's a red eye. Mine as well. Because I, pl I do plan on going to sleep. No if you're butts. In a club with my aunt. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so I'm home. I've been home all day. Y'all know I had a red eye last night. I got in at like 10 o'clock this morning. As soon as I got home, I got in bed and I went to sleep. <laughs> I went to sleep. I did. I did. I did go to sleep. And it was the best sleep I had in like a week. You know, ain't don't nothing beat coming home. Okay? Don't nothing beat coming home. And getting your own bed after being gone for so long. Like I was gone for a I was gone for a week. Yeah, I probably won't be going to sleep for any time soon. Because my body thinks that it is still in California. My body I feel like my body thinks that it's ten o'clock. Like it it feels like it's still in California. Um, I um, edited the vlog that you guys are watching up to this point right here. As you guys can see, um, yeah, there's some editing. And I was like, I'm not going to go to sleep no time soon. So I might as well get up, turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Ho! Okay, turn the lights on and give y'all a haul of the things that I bought out in LA. I went and I bought myself a Vivian Westwood bracelet. I felt like this would be like the perfect um, gift to myself for my birthday. I just, I don't know, I love Vivian Westwood. I've always loved her jewelry pieces. I've just never went and I've like did research on how much they cost and you know, um, any of, any of that store. I didn't even know like what kind of what Vivian Westwood bracelet I wanted. I just know I wanted one. Never been on a website. I just know I wanted one. So when me and Elijah, I was with Elijah on my birthday. When we were together and we were driving down, I think, what is that? Um, not Rodeo. Um, I always, is it Rodeo? I always forget that one street with all like the lit shopping places or whatever. But I saw Vimy West. I was like, oh my God, let's go. Please. And I saw this bracelet and I fell in love. I was like, how much is this? She said, I said, oh, I'll take it right now. It wasn't expensive um, for a designer jewelry piece that is. It, I think I ended up paying after tax and everything $230, $235. So yeah this is what i got and i am now going to start a vivian westwood bracelet collection yeah expect um more more of these to pop up over the next uh year or so i then went to a thrift store i think called wasteland and i thrifted some bottega sunglasses y'all I saw these, it was between these and Burberry, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I should've just got both. The No, it was between these, a pair of Burberry ones, and a pair of YSL ones. And I, I should've got these and a YSL one. If you know um, those Balenciaga um, zebra print sunglasses, they were kinda like that. But they were like, I don't know, I don't know the, the, the name of the style. They were dope, to say the least. I should've got those and these, but it's whatever. <laughs> I got these Bottega sunglasses and I was like, oh, M, G. Y'all know I love me. I just a cute black sunny and I'm here for this. I don't wear gold often, but I couldn't get over. Um, yeah, see, I'm real close to the camera because I cannot see. <laughs> but um, I just, I loved the shape of the frame and I just, I don't know. I feel like these really flattered my face a lot. Um, these and the Burberry ones were gold, so either or, it really didn't matter. And I want to say these were cheaper too. I think it was like a twenty or thirty dollar price difference. So I said, why not? Why not? Why not go ahead and get them? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move into like skincare and you know up here. <laughs> so I'd like to say that like skincare and self care is where I spent the most money, only because it's not a lot, but these products cost 
a lot individually. So I went and I re-upped on all of my Dermalogica products. You guys know that I was having major issues with my skin and I still am having major issues, but it's more so my ingrowns now. This visitor that we had over here ended up figuring out that it was an ingrown. So, um, yeah, Dermalogica really, really helps me control my ingrowns and make sure my skin flourishes and looks the way it's supposed to look. So I went, I picked up the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. Again, all of this will be tagged down in my DB below. I went and picked up the Skin Smoothing Cream. I love this pre-cleanse. I didn't even hear about pre-cleansing until I got my facial with Marcella and she was telling me about it. Pre-cleanse pretty much just, you know, especially if you're somebody like me, you wear makeup, you just out all day, you work, you work out. It just helps break down all the bacteria, all that makeup, all like the dirt and the grime helps loosen that up before you go in with like your actual cleanser. I can always tell the difference when I use a cleanser versus when I don't. Or I, when I use a pre-cleanser, uh, my apologies um versus when i don't use one so i recommend getting a pre-cleanser even if it's not from dermalogica of course i'm gonna recommend dermalogica because that's what i'm using but i'm pretty sure there's many other brands out there and many other cheaper brands out there that um you know you can find a pre-cleanse through so i'll do some research and try to find some alternatives for you guys some cheaper alternatives y'all know i had to get the multi-active toner i quite literally picked up like the whole well i don't know if this is a kit but i, I, I picked it up and then um the daily microfoliant now let me tell y'all something this holy grail i'm telling y'all bro i'm telling y'all that right there is what really helps me with my ingrowns because it's a daily microfoliant meaning you can use that every day. It's like a more sensitive exfoliant for your skin. So it's not as harsh and you can use it every day. So I use it twice a day and that helps me with my ingrowns immensely because think about it. When you're trying to get rid of ingrowns, what do you do? You exfoliate. So if I'm exfoliating every day, twice a day, them ingrowns not gonna stand no chance trying to get trapped under the skin barrier, you know? I had to go and get some Dior products, okay? I was finally, ah! finally able to uh, go in person and pick up some Dior lip oils. You know, I love these. I went, I picked up the um, cherry oil infused uh, universal clear. Y'all know uh, these are my absolute favorite. I have two right here, but I actually, I bought four. <laughs> I ordered, oh, now it just fell right on out. <laughs> I went I ordered um, two to my house while I was out in Cali and then I went and I bought two while I was out in Sephora. Um, don't ask me why. It was like an impulse buy. I was like, I might as well just do it now. It was on my mind. So I did it. <laughs> I'm low-key mad. I should have got the um, the cherry. Is it, that, isn't that what it's called? The cherry bomb? It was a few things that I was supposed to get while I was in there and I forgot, which is why I'm, I should always keep a list on me but it's okay because we can make a trip for later on this week i went and i picked up another um lip gloss i know i'm a hoe let me not say a hoe i'm a whore for a good lip gloss and this one right here is the epitome of all lip glosses like if i was a lip gloss i would want to be this lip gloss right here um this is the holographic holographic dior lip gloss and let me tell y'all something it is uh, it is holographic i i love it i um uh, i didn't wear this out yet haven't worn this out yet i do have another holographic lip gloss that i own this beats it by far might not be able to tell now the lighting is a little weird um it's a little wonky in here but that lip gloss right there Love it so much. Now, I will say, um, I was having this talk with my homegirl. She was saying that she didn't get the hype over these. And I will not lie. The price for these, I'm not going to lie. A bit overpriced. I'd say $30 max, um, $25 minimum. But these are very moisturizing. I love that they're cherry oil infused because I feel like that's where like the moisturizing agent comes from. And um, I just love the fact that over time, it actually turns pink. So... Yeah. I also went and I picked up a Touchland mist. Y'all know I love me a good Touchland moment, so had to pick that up. I can't wait to do a get ready with me because I picked up some blush, y'all. <laughs> we step it on up. I want to start incorporating more of a like natural highlighting my features. Y'all know I do that anyways, but you know, 
slight contour right here just with a bit of blush maybe a touch of under eye concealer i would love to master like a legit no makeup makeup look i already do that now but i feel like my face looks a bit flat sometimes so if I, I just added just a bit more dimension which i might have to talk to my mom about that to see if like she can help me out but yeah i just need a bit more dimension as far as for like the flatness of my face but whatever i digress i went and i picked up the uh dior rosy glow one of my friends he actually put me up on b on like because he's all about the blush babes okay it's all about the blush he put me up on b about you know blushes and i know he uses dior blush so i was like let me go ahead and get that since i know that's what he use and um just because it's my first one i went and i picked up the um again rosy glow this is like a pretty red so pretty now i will say this isn't as pigmented as i thought it was gonna be maybe it's just me maybe i wasn't swatching it right let's see though i have swatched this um as you can see we're gonna swatch It's pretty. I just, I don't think it's that pigmented. Maybe I'm tripping though, cause I know, I also know nothing about blushes. So um, this is somebody who knows nothing about blush here who's talking about whether it's really pigmented or not. The Zara I went to this time around, I went to the one in the Beverly Center and it wasn't all of that. Like usually the one in the Beverly Center is pretty good, but I don't know what was going on this time around. It wasn't, it wasn't that good. I should have went to the one that was on Sunset Boulevard, but it's okay, it won't, be my, it won't be my last time in LA. I thought that these were so cute. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I probably, <laughs> I probably could've went up a set. Well, no. I don't know. No, I actually like the way these fit. They fit nice and snug. These are the first pair of shorts I got. They stop at the knee length. Really cute, really cute. Um, as you can see, it has like this double, I don't know what to call this, but like, I guess a, a, a pre-sag, if you, if you will. Yeah, I really, really like these a lot. I got these in a size small. This is a set, actually. It actually had um, the jacket, one that was a uh, short sleeve, one was long sleeve. I figured that springtime is approaching us fairly quickly thanks to um, Global Warming. Thank you. So I was like, why not go ahead and get this when in reality, I should have got both the short sleeve and the long sleeve because I live in Virginia and Virginia weather is very bipolar. Um, I should have got both. So I might end up buying the one online. Um, this kind of has like a cropped vibe or I think it would have had a cropped vibe to it if I actually <laughs> size down a size. I feel like this is cropped, but it's not cropped to the point where you can actually see what's going on in this area. So when I wear this together, um, I'm going to wear my sheer top from 66 Poppy. Hopefully it comes out with some, some new ones by then. Um, this is my first time trying all this stuff on in the mirror. Uh, this is all a blind buy. So if none of this stuff fit, I would have been stuck because I don't have the receipt either. Really smart, right? right um this is really cute though i love this next up i got this cropped tee from um zara which really i could have made this myself but um y'all know i'm in love y'all may or may not know i'm not sure but i'm in love obviously with cutting my shirts and when i saw this i was like oh absolutely yeah i'm gonna have to get give me that well chris brown said give me that give me that give me that please and thank you babe so i had to get this i had this on yesterday so you guys pretty much saw what it looks like on love that shirt so much it was actually in front of, no not in front of it was paired with these pants yeah i know if you've been watching me for like the past six months i say six months to a year dang the list really came out when i said that wow thank you invisalign um if you've been watching me for like the past six months to a year you would know that the whole pants and skirt trend it has my heart i, I did just do a look with the whole pants skirt thing check that out if you haven't already but i've been really 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 obsessed with that whole trend lately and zara decided that they wanted to you know put their two cents in and um muster up a pair of these bad boys <laughs> okay the, this high fashion come on now and the back is actually pants 
All the other ones I have, it's a skirt all the way around. In the back, it's not like actually pants. That's what really, that's what really made me get this. That and the fact that like, it only has like the side pleating on the side. Like, these pants are bomb.com. Like, come on now. You can't tell me that these aren't fa-fa. That these not fa-fa. Come on now, you can't tell me that these ain't fly, bro. Like, what? This is a super duper fly. Like, what? I didn't think twice when I saw these. Like, I, I quite literally, I picked it up. This is the cream version of, oop, let it focus because it is bright, honey. This is the cream version of that other, um, I don't know like what fabric you would call this. I have like a Zara set that's quite literally the same exact thing as this cream one. The only difference is the pants are different. I don't know what size I got my black ones, but even the fit is a bit different with this set. Maybe this is a different set, child. It just got the same fabric, but regardless, these don't cuff at the bottom and they fit just a bit more looser. So I'm gonna assume that I probably got a smaller size. They can't really. I, oh, yes, they can. Hello. I haven't seen the kids since what? Let me clean y'all off. Hold up. Let me clean y'all off. Uh, hope you like this place, DJ. Okay. You should be able to find something that you like on the menu. All right. Yes. So we're home, or not, we're home. home. We're Hooray. on the way home. <laughs> we're on the way home. I was going to make some stops, but quite frankly, I don't feel like it, and I got stuff to do when I get home. True. So, what you got to do, girl? Nothing. Uh, for the, yeah, y'all can wait, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I still got to do laundry, and I have to my bathroom, and all that other extra stuff that I do on Sundays that I have not done yet, because I woke up late today, so. Yeah, all the way home, food was good. 10 out of 10, would definitely recommend. Not my first time going there, but he wants to go back and that's a miracle. Ah. Cause he don't like nothing. Cat. At all. That is not cat. He doesn't like anything. What happened? You said cat. <laughs> hmm? You said cat. Nah. Yes, you did, I heard you. 
Mm, you must have heard something else then. I heard you. No, you didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear anything. I heard you. I, you I didn't, didn't hear. I didn't hear anything, so I don't care. You don't ever care, DJ. Yeah, I that's the point. I gotta cut um his hair. <laughs> um, it's three right now. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I don't feel like cutting it right now, so I'm not. Probably cut it. Um, I don't know. Maybe tonight your hair is literally flaring up. Awesome. You gotta stop brushing it. Remember what I told you? What I tell you if you wanted to grow your hair out? Uh, I gotta treat my hair, dude. And? Uh, I gotta brush it. Right. Now, if you don't brush it, I'm gonna have to cut it short because you can't be walking around looking like who did it and why. You know what I'm saying? If I don't brush it, I'm gonna be looking messy. Uh uh, I didn't say messy. I said you're gonna be looking like who? What did we say? You're gonna be looking like who did it and why. You know what who you know you know what who did it and why look like? No. Crazy. And that's what you're gonna look like. You gotta take care of your hair. Okay? Okay. Okay. That's it, that's all. I'm gonna play some music. I will talk to y'all. I don't know. Tomorrow. Bye.